hide or camouflage anything. You can use it as a backstop for a wall. You could use it in a pergola overhead to give yourself some uh, cover from the sun. You can hide your garbage cans, your recycle bins. You could do so much with it. We have 12 dozen left. That is all that remains. We're not gonna air it. This sells out every single time and I don't have any plans for a reorder. So if you wanna get it, all right, you see our left counter up there. They are going very, very, very quickly. So we're in a new show, we're in a new hour. This hour is all about plants uh, from Leaf and Petal. But before we get that, I wanna give you my pick of the hour. Today it is not a plant, today it is actually a tool. I get more requests for what is the trimmer that you use when you're trying to do your grass and your weeds. And this is it right here. I love this Earthwise trimmer. First of all, it's super duper powerful. You can hear the power of this guy but it's all electric, which means I don't have to worry about plugging anything in. Uh, there's a little button on the bottom where you can feed the string. It comes with the stringer or a stringer already ready to go and you could buy more from any garden store. It's a little loop stringer goes inside. It, all you do is hit the trigger. And now if I wanna, I'm not, I don't wanna kill any of our plants or flowers here, but it is very, very lightweight and portable. The price is ridiculous. These are usually $100 at the home store, $67.95. Do it yourself. It even has a little guard there so you won't hurt your flowers. That is my pick of this show, uh, which will be coming up at the end of the hour, but this show is all about flowers, all right? Beautiful, gorgeous flowers. We're gonna start you off with some uh, uh, flowers that have been hugely popular here, and they are called Rudbeckia. <clears throat> These are like Black Eyed Susan, only a little bit different in, they are really, really compact in their flowers, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous. If you wanna add a pop of yellow to any garden, this is the way to go. I think these are absolutely amazing. They're bright and they're sunny and they're showy. They actually have the look of wildflowers, which I love, love the look of wildflowers. They're only $24.95. You are gonna get three Rudbeckia plants. All right, they're already gonna be in pots. They'll come in three and a quarter inch pots when you buy them. And this is what they'll look like after probably season two. They'll, they'll get about, about half this size in your first season, but they are beautiful. Though they look like wildflowers. So welcoming it on a front porch area. You can plant them in a pot or you can put them in the ground. You're gonna love them. Our uh, master, uh, best buddy gardener, uh, Rochelle Grayer is standing by and she's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Hi, Rochelle. Good morning. Morning. I'm, I'm good, hi, how are you? Wonderful. <laughs> Good, yeah, we're talking about Rudbeckia, which, um, uh, yeah, like you, it's one of my favorites. I'm from Colorado, and it just reminds me of, like, plains and prairies and meadows and mountains and wildflowers. And so, yeah, this is just one of those beautiful plants. They are actually black-eyed black Susans. Um, this is just a particular variety that is a little more compact than the regular Black Eyed Susans. They get a little bit bigger and a little bit uh, more wiry, so a little more wild look. These ones have a tidier, more compact nature about them just through um, some good breeding there, the American Gold Rush Rudbeckia. So just a little bit nicer for that. They're perennials, so they're gonna come back every year, get bigger and bigger for you. And if they don't, of course, you always have the leaf and petal one year guarantee on our uh, perennials. And yeah, these are just really uh, great for that meadow garden, great for cottage gardens. They're great with grasses. The bees and butterflies love them. And I have to say, they're one of my favorites because those black uh, seed heads there in the middle, those stay through the winter. And they're really, you know, people really like to have like winter interest in their yeah. gardens. And that's a really great winter interest. Uh, because those stay, and they're like these little black yeah. dots coming hey, off. They Rochelle, look great. Don't, don't, and the birds like yeah. them too. Don't the birds like the seeds? Yes. I read that. Yes, they, like they the do. Yeah. They'll, yeah. And they'll, yeah, and you'll, if you keep them on through the winter, you know, that stuff provides food for birds and, uh, well, primarily birds through yeah. the winter. So, yeah, it, you're really kind of doing a nice environmental thing and helping all the pollinators yeah. Something like this. And plus, they just look beautiful in your garden. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm planting mine in containers this year. I'm yeah. trying them out. I haven't done the containers well, for these before. These, I have tons of them already in the ground. This is what, uh, these are all living plants right here. You know, sometimes because it's early in the season, we don't have actual living uh, flowers. Sometimes we just get buds and things like that. These are all completely 100% real flowers, really alive, all right? And it gives you an idea of the impact. <laughs> that these have. I mean, if even if you had them, like Rochelle said, put them in a pot and put them on your front porch. And Rochelle, you and I have the, uh, that in common. We both love the look of wildflowers, right? 
Yeah, I love, love, love the wildflowers. The, all these, uh, yeah, airy stems and wiry little things. They just, I don't know what it is about them, but I love that open kind of nature. And move. I love how they all mix together too. And the way they move, yeah. when you put it with other stuff, they just kind of mingle and, oh, it's so pretty. It really so is. Pretty. So you're going to get three of these, all right? And as I said, this yep. is probably, uh, Rochelle, I would say this is probably year two, maybe, when they get to be this yeah. big. Am I right? Yeah, although, you know, I mean, they are, they're going to grow pretty quickly. They do come this size, so this is, uh, and you're going to get three of them. Yeah. So I would space them, if you're going to put them in the ground, I would space them probably about two feet apart because, yeah, they're going to get to that size pretty quick. These are going to be uh, sun lovers. By that second year, they're really going to be fairly drought tolerant. They have to uh, get their roots really uh, dug in through that first year so that they can gather all the nutrients and water that they need. But they're really tough once they establish. So that's another thing you're not going to have to worry about watering them all the time or, you know, fussing over them. You're going to get like this, this beautiful just drifts as we like to say drifts of flowers um especially if you plant them all together um they really kind of come together and they just look like a giant mass um across you know a whole area and something like this i mean three plants you're probably talking about oh five or six feet by five or six feet that you'll be filling with blooms with just these plants because they do get they do get good size like that yeah. which is gorgeous and by the way if you want to put them like on either side of your porch, you could have like one there. Ah! And I'll bring this one up here. I mean, as an entryway, I mean, look at how pretty that yeah. is. I mean, that, 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 this it's is so... why you garden, right? Because yeah. imagine your house, like people pulling up and they see these beautiful flowers and they really are. There's a lot of color here. You will absolutely love these. $24.95 really quickly. We're doing most of our shipping out right away. But if you live in the northern part of the country, we're going to wait a little bit longer because we don't want mm -hmm. you to put them in the ground while it's still cold out there. And if you live up in the Dakotas or, you know, up in northern Colorado, you're not gonna be able to plant them yet. So we will, we know where you live based on your order and we will ship them in time for you to put them right into the ground and you won't pay for them until they ship. All right, come on over here. Rochelle, I'm excited because our next item I own and I love, and there is nothing uh, really quite like impatience. Everybody loves them. I think they're everybody's favorite. Yeah. Um, these are gonna give you just instant pops of color anywhere. They are easy growers. All right, uh, mm -hmm. they're early flowering, which means you're gonna get flowers right away, and they are jam-packed with color. Everybody is gonna get three of these. You're gonna get one in flame orange, which is in the back. You're gonna get one in the uh, lavender, which you see down here. And then the other one over here is called Rose Aurora, which is that you know, classic pink impatience. These are only $21.95, snatch them up right now. Rochelle, tell me about them. Oh, these are my favorite. And I have to say, um, in my professional landscaper days, I think I've planted a few million of these. And the right. reason is, I'm not joking. I used to have a client down in Worcester, Mass, and it was like seven city blocks. And we just did drifts and waves and, and uh, of impatience more than anything, these particular impatience, because we had um, these areas that were both shady and sunny, but we yeah. needed these, you know, designs to kind of go throughout. And the thing about impatience is they give you all that color, all that flower power. And these particular sun loving ones, if you've grown impatience, you know that they're kind of partial to the shade, but these ones can also go in the sun. So if you're trying to figure out like, how do you make your shady area of your garden and your sunny area of your garden go together, plant impatience in both areas and they'll look like they all coordinate. And, and, and they're just, they're the most solid, blooming constantly right through the season, yeah. annual that you can get. And I, you know what else I love about these? Their foliage is just so, um, it's rich looking and it's yeah. so full. It's as full as the plant, as the flowers well, itself. So you yeah. really can create those masses of blooms. You know just what I, plant right yeah. next to each other. And you know what I love about them for me, Rochelle? Yeah, you and cannot I, and go I, wrong with these. I know, yeah, you, know, you know where you yeah. see a lot of these? Landscapers use these, and they use them for good reason because yeah. they are very user-friendly. They will grow in both sun mm -hmm. and shade. My dad had giant beech nut trees, and you know how big? Beech nut trees look like the legs of an elephant. Like, they're huge, right? <laughs> yeah, and they're very yeah. packed with leaves. And my dad would, would put Pachysandra underneath, and he would have put impatience around the border. 
because he knew they would grow. Yep. I mean, they are that, they're that uh, yeah. you know, tolerant. Uh, whether it's heat tolerant, they'll work, they go in sun, they go in shade, they're easy growers. And landscapers use them just, you, you know, you'll see them around here in Florida because they add instant color to like um, apartment complexes, uh, condominiums, and they last. And they, and they, and they grow yep. very, very quickly. You're gonna get all three colors. So you get the rose, you get the orange, and you get the lavender. They will come to you in two and a half inch pots and we'll ship them when it's time for them to go in the ground where you live, so don't worry about that. You have uh, leaf and petals guarantee that these will grow for you, all right? No worries. Yep. I, I have yet to have anything that is not grown that I've gotten from leaf and petal. <laughs> I love it. In fact, we got tomatoes coming up at the end of the show, which I'm excited about, but these, I would say, Rochelle, are a real staple in the garden. They, they are, and I just want to point out, too, these are annuals. The growth you see there, that's what you can expect in the first year because you're just buying them for this year. These grow fast. They get big like that. So, I mean, you're, we're not talking about waiting around for years on end to get this nice big plant. These get big fast, and they throw out blooms fast. They're annuals. They're one and done but you get so much bang for your buck with these. Um, I mean, they just fill space. I, I always think too, I do this with clients. Whenever we don't really know, we often are like, hmm, which kind of thing do we want to wow, do in an area that. when we're like not sure of our plans? We fill it with impatience because we know we're going to get a season full of color while we decide what to do there next year or whatever. So these are really great just for you know, filling up your blank spots, wherever you've got a hole, impatience, yeah. they're just yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and they and they will get- Easy, easy. Yeah, they'll get thicker and thicker and bigger and bigger, uh, but they won't, they're, they're not unruly. They're, they really are a beautiful accent. Oh, plant. no. They are only $21. Yeah. They are free shipping and handling. Order these now. Do not wait and go to a garden store and get stuff that's picked over. We will give you stuff that will grow for you with a guarantee. No messy uh, trunk of the car, no dirt flying all over mm -hmm. the back seat. We deliver them right to your door when the growing season is ready. We can probably put that map up really quick if you want, Pat, and we'll show everybody what we're talking about. So when we take your order, we know where you live. If you live in the northern half of the country, you're gonna wait till May to get your flowers. If you're uh, kind of in the middle, you're probably gonna get them in the next week or two and then they will come directly out if you live in the southern part of the country. You will get a little brochure that tells you everything you need to know about your beautiful plants, how to water them, where they should go, maintenance care. Most of it is very easy. We did not pick things that are hard to grow because we don't want you to be frustrated because we know a lot of you yeah. do not have green thumbs, so we make it a little bit easier for everybody. All right, so one, two, three in these beautiful colors. You get the orange, you get the rose aurora, and you get the lavender all included. All right, Rochelle, we're going right into the uh, chatty Kathy hibiscus, which is over here. Can I walk over, guys? I got to tell Love you, that name. this thing, I know, chatty <laughs> cat, this is probably one of the most beautiful trees mm -hmm. that we carry here at HSN because not only are you getting that beautiful, bright and cheery yellow, you're getting what's inside the flower, the color, the orange, the pink, the red, and then the actual little bud inside, absolutely gorgeous. This is brand new. You are, eyes are the first to see it. It is only $59.95, and if you come over with me here, I'll show you exactly what you're gonna get. And here is one right here. This is exactly the size of the tree that you will get. It's a tree. I mean, this is a four and a half yeah. foot tree that comes in a really big box. And you can see this one is already getting yellow on the outside as the pink on the inside. This is a great deal. Um, Rochelle, tell me a little bit about this one. And, and by the way, it's, is this, the, this one's braided too, right? Yeah, they're braided. They're braided like the other, um, bra I mean, we've had hibiscus, the braided hibiscus on a few times this year and they've been tremendously popular. And, um, you know, with those you get all of the colors, but I have to say my personal preference is this one that's just one color. It's the all yellow, which to me, you know, I, I'm always looking at things from a designer. I'm trying to like mix and match and make colors work. So when I only have one color, it makes it my life a little easier. Yeah. That's why I love this. Plus I just love yellow. Like this is just so bright and cheery. And you, and it, these, the, these hibiscus really, they're really actually four plants in one because this braid is each its own um, hibiscus tree. So that's why you're getting just this proliferation of blooms and they're good size um, hibiscus blooms. They're easily bigger, a little bit bigger than the palm of your hand. Um, and they just come and come and come as soon as it starts blooming. Mine arrived with buds all over. It's been blooming, but I, I 
anyway, they're not blooming right now. I'm about to move it outside. I think it'll be a lot happier out there. Um, but you do want to transplant it right away into a bigger pot. These are heavy feeders. They're going to want to be... Uh, uh, fertilized as well as have regular regular access to water if they start to dry out they're not going to be happy so put it in a bigger pot this is a 16 inch pot that i've got here um and they come in like an eight or ten inch pot so that's a, a, you know substantially bigger give it some nice potting soil water it in make sure that your pot has drainage hole in the bottom if it doesn't you need to drill one it's going to want you don't want to have it just sitting in that water yeah. um and then after that Put it on your front doorstep, your back doorstep, so wherever. Um, it, you know, these are really good as um, frames for doorways, uh, you know, at, at the sides of gates, anywhere anywhere where you want that symmetry yeah. and to kind of make a place sort of more formal. This is really, or around a pool, maybe. You get yeah. a whole bunch of them. People really nice. People don't realize they grow anywhere. They're a tropical plant, but they will grow anywhere in summertime. And I wanted you to see yeah. this. These are both live trees, but I wanted you to look at the one that is, first of all, it's already got a blossom. And that is the actual blossom that what it will look like. And then if you can look around, look at the buds. There's another one getting ready to open. This is an, a live tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 20 buds on this when you get it out of the box and you can see it'll yeah. you may have one that's already blossoming when you open it up but this is the size i don't know if you guys can see down here um we've got some growth down below i don't want to ruin that but you see the braiding there's the braiding of the trunk that takes a couple of months to do so you've actually got several plants that are braided in one and and one of the things i love about my hibiscus Every day I go out there, I have flowers. Every day, now I live in Florida, but every day during growing season in the summer, we get flowers. Mine is just starting to come back for summertime because you know the temperature's getting in the 70s here. When yours is delivered, it'll be delivered in a time that you, it's ready to go. And all you're gonna do is wait for these flowers to come up. And there's something very romantic, albeit fleeting about um, hibiscus, in that when they open up, when they finally open, each flower only lasts one day. And then it'll drop yep. in the overnights, it'll drop. And it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's so cool that it does all this work in its life to give you one day of beauty. And I, I always look at, I think it's such an amazing thing, you know, when you think about a plant that does that. So all those pollinators, butterflies, bees, they're all rushing in to get it because they know that's only gonna last one day, but fear not because in the next day, more will open. And, and I also love Rochelle, on some days, I've got like nine blossoms, 10 blossoms, 12 oh, yeah. blossoms. Unbelievable. Yeah. No, these are really, really big bloomers. Um, and I do want to say that, you know, they will arrive in time for you to put it straight outside um, wherever you live. So I'm up here in Boston. I'm not going to be moving mine out until May because they're not uh, tolerant of the frost. So if there's a fear of frost, we're not going to send it to you until the you know, that last frost date has passed. Um, but once you have it outside for the summer, this will be very happy all summer, and then you're gonna wanna bring it in for the winter. Um, as I just said, they're not frost hardy, but I treat mine like house plants all winter and they're gorgeous indoors. They go into a, a sort of dormancy um, and that just means they stop blooming. They'll start blooming again around now um, when it starts to warm up outside. And that's just them, you know, kind of refreshing themselves for the season, getting ready to go at it again, uh, but get, get some fertilizer in them. And they're really just gonna be like this, this nice uh, mounded topiary type house plant all winter long. Just keep them watered, keep them, you know, keep them in some good, nice light, and they'll be completely happy and ready for you to move them outside again next year. They're, they're really great for that process. And of course, if you live down where you live, Guy, um, you, you know, you could plant this in the ground and oh, it'll, yeah. it'll go to town and it, yep. it'll get really big. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's it, let me just tell you this, it's, it's a real showpiece. Um, as I said, it's gonna come very robust and hardy. When you open up the box, you will see, you might even have a flower in there already, um, but, but you'll mm -hmm. have an amazing number of buds. It's great uh, in a walk, uh, you know, in an area like on a patio, if you've got areas around a swimming pool, something about hibiscus around a pool, very tropical, you're gonna love that. They are heat and drought tolerant. Um, and a, like I said, new flowers are opening every single day. If you wanna get it, this is our Chatty Cathy, uh, the yellow hibiscus tree with the braided trunk, $59, free shipping and handling, get it home. And buy, uh, one last thing, what a great Mother's Day gift. 
all right? Oh, yeah. What For a sure. great Mother's Day gift. If you want to get it for mom, because it's the gift that keeps on giving. And you'll have this year after year after year. My hibiscus is, I don't know if we have a picture of it. Mine is about two to three years old. It's huge, and it's so beautiful. Um, I want to give yeah. you a quick tease coming up in a little bit is our three-piece tomato lovers delight tomatoes. If you love tomatoes and you love every version of them, this stuff, uh, this is absolutely amazing, delicious. You can harvest your own tomatoes. You're gonna wind up giving them away uh, to people because they have been so popular. You are getting the Berkeley tie-dye, the golden medal, and the pink brandy wine. All those big jumbo tomatoes. And by the way, that's all, that's all. Like you're, you're gonna have about 10 times this number of tomatoes when they start to come in. <laughs> Seven, four, five, four, two, six. All right, where are we going, over here? Okay, all right, can I sit over here, Brandon? Is it all right just to sit next to him? I'm not sure, okay, I'll wait. I'm getting in front of the shot. All right, Rochelle, I have never seen these before. It's my, this is the first time I've seen them live. This is called the Shrimps on the Barbie uh, Pulmonaria. What a show, yep. so not only beautiful flowers. Look at those leaves, Rochelle. Yeah. Oh, this is one of my all time favorite plants. I live up here in New England and I'm kind of ensconced in the woods. And so I tend to have all these areas that are both dry and shady. And these are my favorite problem solver for dry, shady spots. They get about 10 inches tall. They're very um, fresh looking. And the reason they are is one, because they're just a proliferation of leaves. You saw that they really thick mats of these kind of like rosette of plants. Uh, but then the leaves have all of these really cute little speckles. A lot of times they're they're kind of whitish, but in the shade, they almost look silvery. Like they have a shimmer to yeah. them. They're a little bit fuzzy. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of this little bit of a, an optical whatever. And then these particular ones, I love this name, Shrimps on the Barbie. It's because of the, uh, the color of those flowers. Like, look at that. They're just this beautiful coral shrimp pink. Um, and they are... These, the, the reason you want these is because these are tough as nails. I want to tell you, earlier this season, uh, this season on HSN, uh, I have all these plants shipped to me early, and we have to do all these crazy things because it may be too cold to actually ship them. So we're always, like, monitoring the weather all the way across the country to hopefully get these plants here without damage. Anyway, something went very wrong with my first shipment of pulmonaria. Um, they were literally pulmonaria popsicles when I got them. Ultimately, they <laughs> yeah. were frozen solid. And I was thought, well, that's the end of those guys. They were green and leafy and literally frozen solid. The whole little container was like an icicle, an ice cube of dirt. And they thawed and they are just going like crazy. Wow. They're fresh and beautiful. Like they're just tough, tough, tough plants. Even pulmonaria popsicles survived. In yeah are well, now thriving outside. That, that, that is a test, that's a testament to the leaf and petal stock. And, and I'll tell you, they have, they just have the, the, the best stuff. You know, I, like I said, I have yet to have anything that hasn't grown. Now granted, yeah, we're in Florida, so we get a lot of sunshine. You have our guarantee. Uh, you're much better off shopping with us than you are at a home store. I mean, in a home store, you don't know what's been picked over. You don't know how long those plants have been sitting there. You don't know if they've got insects or disease. I went to a home store once and grabbed a couple of plants. We're full of fire ants. <laughs> I know. It was crazy. Uh, and I'm not oh. I'm not poo-pooing all the all the different stores, but I'm just saying, why not get something delivered to your door? No mess in the back seat of the car. Look at how pretty these are. Not only the flowers, but the leaves. You know, we, we don't say enough about the mm -hmm. fauna part of, of our of our beautiful plants, but this is such a great backdrop. And these would be ideal in a garden, in, in beds. You could do them in a pot like we do here. You know what I was thinking too? A rock garden with these in it would be beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Right, Rochelle? Yeah, they really would. Because they really are, rock gardens, I always think of like these um, plants that just kind of look look nice without anything else around them that can be isolated. And these really do because they have this nice shape and the lance-like leaves, they just kind of all lay out on top of each other, kind of like a rosette, like what you see in those pots there. Um, but if you have a whole mass of them, they really kind of act as a ground cover. I have beds of these that I've never touched they're all coming out right now. Those leaves, they're fresh and green, and they're gonna look fantastic all summer. I never water that bed. It's in shade all the time. These are just the best dry shade problem solvers you can get. They're, they're just tough, 
And on, I'm up here in Boston, just to remind you, these are hardy all the way up and down, uh, you know, north to south. So if you are looking for something beautiful for the shade, and by the way, these look absolutely fantastic next to those impatience. They are a great combo. Oh, so yeah. if you wanted to put them together, this, you know, this is like your whole shade garden under a tree problem solved. Like the two of these, so pretty together. This one is a combination of foliage and flowers and the same goes for those impatience. They look so pretty because there's just a nice contrast of textures. Yeah. These have these I, speckled leaves, I, big I, speckled leaves. I just put them together so you can see. So here's the impatience in the back. And if you come in close, you'll mm -hmm. see the uh, the pulmonaria in the front. They are, it's a beautiful combination. And you know what's nice yeah. is that you don't really have to do anything. You know what I mean? You just plant them in the ground and this is what's gonna grow in your garden. These are only $25.95, you get two of them. So if you are putting them on either side of your front entrance to your house, or if you're putting them around your deck, or if you've got a rock garden, maybe you have a little uh, a little rock pool and you wanna put them there, they'll thrive there as well. Just got a lot of a lot of character and they really are beautiful. All right, we're gonna wrap it up on these, 758-993. If you wanna get them, and remember you get two, uh, the shrimp on the barbie, they call them shrimp on the barbie because they're like pink like the color of shrimp, I guess, yeah. right? So anyway, shrimp, pink shrimp. come on yeah. over. We're gonna, all right, Rochelle, we're gonna talk about tomatoes. Um, yeah, I've told, yeah. I keep telling the, I tell Rochelle the story of my dad going to his garden with a, uh, with a salt shaker and he would just go out there and pull tomatoes and he would eat them right in the garden. And he was like, oh my gosh, his tomatoes were his pride and joy. Um, they were the basically the center of his garden because he would do tomatoes, he'd do squash. He actually did rhubarb, which grows really well up in Connecticut where mm. I'm from. Um, yeah. He tried corn, but corn was way too much work with making rows, and the deer would eat it in one day, so he didn't do corn. But man, that guy grew tomatoes and cucumbers and lettuces, and it was amazing. So, all that being said, uh, this is called the Leaf and Petal Three Piece Tomato Lover's Delight. You're gonna get three separate plants. You're gonna get one with the Berkeley tie-dye, which is the one that has the striations in the, in the fruit. You're gonna get one that's called gold metal, and you're gonna get another that's called uh, pink brandywine. Am I right on all those ones, Rochelle? Uh, yes, okay. gold metal is the yellow one, pink brandywine is the ready pink one, and then the uh, Berkeley tie-dye is the the one that's more dark, and that's a um, uh, uh, offspring of wow. the Cherokee purple, which everybody knows and loves. Uh, often they know and love it because it's such a uh, well-known for its flavor um, sort of uh, tomato. Yeah. So that that one is related to that. So I mean, these are all fantastic um, flavored tomatoes. That's what we call it, the Tomato Lovers Collection, because if you're a tomato connoisseur, these are all uh, somewhat unique varieties but they have that, you know, mix of flavors, mix of colors. So if you're making beautiful tomato salads and different things in the summer, you have, you know, kind of a little bit of everything. Um, but these are all, uh, just so you know, indeterminate varieties. Look, oh, there's that squirrel. Yeah, you know why? Uh, because we brought tomatoes out. And the squirrel's like, oh, tomatoes. Oh, I love oh, he knows delicious good. tomatoes. There they are. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> A like meal for a week probably yeah. for him but yeah no they're indeterminate varieties which means that uh, we have determinate and indeterminate tomatoes determinate tomatoes will put their whole crop out at once and then they'll basically be done uh so if you're growing tomatoes like that that's you know when you got to pull out your canner or you just you give away everything because you're not getting it over a period of time whereas indeterminate these are all three indeterminate heirloom tomato varieties they'll keep producing all season in, and they won't throw everything out at once so you you do you're going to get overwhelmed with tomatoes which is like the joy of summer but maybe not quite as overwhelmed all at once so that's that's the beauty of the indeterminate these are going to be large plants you'll need to stake them uh, you can container grow them, although I suggest you probably want to put them in the ground <laughs> just because it'll make it a little easier yeah. to take care of it all. But look at these. They're big, beefy tomatoes. Yummy. Which is, you know, I, I mean, I just, I, I look forward to summer just so I can live off tomatoes, basically. Yeah. And I have to tell you, you've told me so many times about your dad with the salt. Yeah. I don't know if it is a weird Kansas slash Colorado thing, 
but my whole family always sprinkles sugar on them. Is that weird? You, hey, you know what? It's your tomato. <laughs> Do whatever you want. You know what my thing is? And I, you know what I used yeah. to, what I loved as a, and this is even as a kid, because I, I, you know, when I got to be about 13 or 14, I started eating more of the stuff out of my dad's garden. I liked tomato sandwiches. You just, you slice oh, a too. big, thick piece of tomato and put mayonnaise the and salt mayonnaise. and pepper on it. Oh, oh my, it's yeah. like meat. So I mean, good. it is so good. Yeah. I would even put Miracle Whip on it because I'm a big Miracle Whip fan. Sorry. Mm, so I like that too. Yeah, I know. But so <laughs> yummy. And you know what, too, Rochelle? You know, people are worried about organic. You're growing these in your backyard. That's as organic as it gets, yeah. right? They are. They are, absolutely. Plus, on, on top of that, um, you know, I, we've said this so many times, and I, I just want to drive this point home. There is a massive shortage of plants across the country because everybody is gardening. And I'm telling you right now, the first thing that's going to go and the first thing that you're not going to be able to find is tomato plants when you're yeah. thinking ready for tomato plants. So um, I, I would encourage you with all of my heart to make sure you have your tomato plants. They'll arrive when they're ready to plant and you're not going to have to go to the, you know, wherever store and get those super beat up, tired tomato plants in varieties that aren't very interesting. You're gonna have three great varieties coming at you, fresh and healthy and ready to go and not all beat up. Yeah. That is what happens Yep. so fast. Uh, I mean, I've done it a million times. It's already got tomatoes. It's, yeah. <laughs> There's already tomatoes on that ah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, and, and you know, tomatoes grow very quickly. Once you get it, once you release them from their little chamber here and you put them in a bigger pot <laughs> or whatever you decide to do, they yeah. will grow very, very fast. So item number yeah. there is 745426. Uh, You'll get all three varieties. Grow your own tomatoes. It's fun. It's rewarding. It's a great thing to do with your kids as well. Rochelle, that's it for our segment. Thank you so much for Skyping in. We love You're to welcome. see you. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to do it again. All right, my dear. You too. All right, see you later. 745426. All right, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, we've got the mobile veggie patch. Oh, you're going to love that. Plus, we got our pick of the hour right around the corner. Stick around. Hey, guys, my name is Brittany Best. I got a feeling deep in my soul. Founder and creator of Wavy. A fashion forward, functional fitness apparel brand that's made to inspire movement and confidence and celebrate your unique curves. No matter if you're cruising on the beach, stepping onto your yoga mat, or lacing up your sneakers for a run, Wavy was made for you. We know that there are so many places to shop, so we want to thank you for being here with us. We're celebrating Customer Appreciation Month by devoting the entire month of April to you. We're donating $1,000 a day to your favorite charities. HSN card VIPs will get so many extras. Shop on the HSN app to get exclusive offers. And be sure to follow HSN on Facebook and Instagram for insider access. We'd like to say thank, thank you. you. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day is a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. pick of the hour. It is a cordless electric trimmer. It comes to us from Earthwise. It's my pick of the show. L listen, I know you can go to home store and you can spend 130, 140, 150 bucks on a, uh, on a plug-in trimmer, or you could try to go spend $250 on a gas trimmer. Go electric. This is going to be perfect for your size yard, whether you're getting rid of weeds or grasses or whatever. A simple pull of the trigger is a self, uh, there's a little uh, button on the top so you can release the cord. It's already wound up inside, easy to handle. Uh, this thing, I mean, honestly, what does it weigh? Probably weighs five pounds in my hand. So if you are out there and you can't handle a heavy power tool, you'll be able to handle this one. It's our pick of the show. 
Love this thing. It's coming up in a little bit and people are already uh, going ahead and ordering it. But we've got another item that I want to talk about first, uh, which is our uh, self-watering veggie patch trellis. This we introduced uh, about a week or two ago with uh, Tom Wise and people went crazy for it. First of all, you've got everything you need as far as the structure to be able to grow tomatoes, herbs, any kind of veggies because the back part of it actually you can raise um, section by section so that your plants have something to grab onto. And you all know with tomatoes, if you don't stake your tomatoes or give them a cage to grow in, they're gonna wind up bending over and falling on the ground, right? And then something's gonna, some squirrel will come eat your tomatoes right off the ground. So whether you wanna do peppers in here, climbing plants are ideal in here. It's only $69.95. It is uh, one of our brand new items. It's on sale, it's marked down $10. Uh, if you wanna get it, 733083. And so anybody that's got a, uh, you know, doesn't have an area for a full out garden, but wants a mini garden, like on their porch or patio, this is perfect. Let me introduce you to Tom Wise, who is standing by via Skype, and he's gonna show us, take us on a little tour, hey Tom. Hey, Guy, I tell you, this is a, you, you are 100% correct. This is the best way, if you've got a limited space, to have, enjoy a beautiful garden. And the key is it waters itself. I'm famous for over-loving my plants and watering them to death one at a time. They come to the ranch to, for a slow death, but not anymore because it, they all just, they just self-water. You've got the big planter here. It's oversized. The key inside here, look at this. They've got a tray guy that stands the water it keeps the water away from the roots. So now you put the tray in, you put your dirt on, you load up your plants, and then you put the water in down here. Now in the beginning, you might want to put a little water on top because once the roots start to penetrate, it starts absorbing the water. It's self-watering. You can't mess it up. And if you want flowers for bees or you want butterflies, you can do that. You can also do vegetables like crazy. You can also do your root vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, big regular tomatoes, or beets. My brother took some onions, he made a cutting, and he put them in a planter as well. It's phenomenal. You, I love going to the garden and getting fresh vegetables and making a sandwich, making a salad, it's amazing. Yes, and you know, you know, a lot of people, Tom, are not blessed, like, you know, you with a big ranch where they can have, yeah. you know, an acre of property that they can cultivate into a garden. Most people don't have that. No. Most people have a back, a back porch, or maybe they have a deck, or maybe they live in an apartment, or maybe they're at school, and they're like, I would just love to have fresh tomatoes, or fresh spinach, or I'd like to plant some cilantro or basil out there. But the key, and yep. Tom is right, is the self-watering aspect. The problem people have 99% of the time is not with the plant itself, it's the upkeep of the plant. If you allow your plants to lay in pooled water, or if you have them in a pot and the water sits at the bottom and it doesn't escape, yep. you're gonna drown out those roots. You see, the roots know when to drink. So if you've got a level, a sub-level that has the water in it, the roots will get down there and they'll pull the water as they need uh, see fit. But you don't want the whole plant to be soaking in water. No. You'll get root rot, it's gonna die on you. So this is a way Tom, to kind of guarantee that you're going to get sufficient water when the plant needs it. And if you go away for, you know, for five, seven days, you don't have to worry about watering it because you know you've got that reserve tank underneath. Absolutely. I'm growing tomatoes the same way uh, out in the backyard. I did have a big ranch. I'm, I'm living with my brother now. He, he gives me this little space <laughs> to grow my vegetables. Yeah. Look at this guy. I can, let's say I'm having bad weather is coming, going to come. I have wheels on this so I can wheel this anywhere I like. Maybe the sun is better over here. Maybe I want to put it more in the shade so I can dial in the exact weather it's going to be. Then, as you're talking about tomatoes or beans or ivy and you want to have something growing up on the trellis, this trellis snaps into position. You can add, add, add up until three feet until it's you know, completely built like this. It's a marvelous way to enjoy flowers and certainly vegetables, root vegetables. It's uh, sweet peas, jasmine, sweet potatoes, uh, winter squash. I've got my little herbs going on here. It's all done, all automatically because it's self-watering, guy. You really can't mess it up. All you do is just enjoy what you want to plant. Yeah, and, and I think that's, you know, to be honest, a lot of the elements that ruin our garden are out of our control, uh, you know, because yep. obviously weather and things like that can be good or it can be bad or you get drought areas. What's nice about this, Tom, is you actually control the environment yes. that your plants are growing in. Obviously, you can't control the sun, but in a way you can because you can move it into yes. the sun when you need to. But one of the key elements is controlling that watering. It's everything. You know, I've got probably, Tom, on my, on my little side deck, which is not very big, I probably have 
One, two, three, four, five. I probably have 12 different things growing out there. And the problem is, you know, and I water them probably every other day, but I've got things mm -hmm. that are big. I got things that are little. I got a brand new, um, I've got the magenta daisies, mini daisies. It's a little tiny thing. It only needs a cup of water. So I got to right. run around and I got to adjust all those different things. With this, the plant takes the water as it needs it. It's, it's, it's a brilliant technology. It's, uh, it's really amazing. And I've enjoyed this for many, many years because like I say, I mess it up every time. I'm always overwatering things. I think it always, then the roots are all soggy. The key is you've got a nice, big, generous planter so you can put root vegetables in it. I've grown sweet uh, potatoes in the past. It's amazing how many and how easy those are to grow. But you could have put flowers in here. You can put attract butterflies or honeybees. It has wheels on it, so you can roll it to where you want it, get it in the sun, get it out of the sun, put it in the rain, get it out of the rain, whatever you want. The key being this amazing invention that gives some distance between the plant, the dirt, and the water underneath. You water it, fill it up, fill it up, fill up the planter, stop when the water is coming out. You want it for the first week or so, plant and, excuse me, water the, the dirt on top so we establish the roots. But I tell you, I planted tomatoes three days later. It's sucking up the water yeah. outside of the reservoir. Oh, yeah. You know, we've got one over here, and I don't know how close we could come in, but I, I love this one. In this one, we've actually got peppers growing here, and Ooh. I think you can see the, little, see the little green pepper right there. I'm not sure Beautiful. how close you guys can come in. I'm, um, I'm growing so green peppers too. Yeah, there's a little, and now remember, green peppers are just early. They will turn red after a while. So you can see the red ones in there. And then over here, we've got tomatoes. And you can see, see the little flowers right there? Right next to my hand, there's a little, you're seeing these little yellow flowers. Those are gonna become tomatoes. So that is, I mean, and this is all in one pot. So if you wanna do yep. multiples, if you wanna do, for instance, tomato and basil, you could do your herbs and your tomatoes all in the same thing. If you wanted to do peppers, different different types of peppers, you know, you wanna do chilies, you wanna yep. do jalapenos, you could do that in there. You could do a, a whole thing could just be herbs, right? So if you want yes. fresh cilantro or if you want chives, if you want parsley uh, or, or oregano, whatever, you could grow that in there. And I love how it'll climb up, Tom. And would you explain, yes. cause you can, you can add different levels to this, correct? Yeah, it comes out of the box and all the pieces are inside. It's so simple. In about three minutes, you can start assembling the trellis. One goes on to the next, goes on to the next, yeah. that's it. And then they snap on the side. So now it's got a place to grasp. And you were talking about certain flowers like tomatoes. If they don't have something to grow onto, they're just going to fall down and, and, not do, and not do any, not do well. But if you're planting, maybe you want to plant ivy. You don't have to do vegetables. You could plant ivy. You could plant jasmine, whatever you want. It's anything with the trellis. You need it or you don't need it. You, de you determine what your needs are. But it's simple, take a small space, make, make it explode. We both know the beauty of walking out to the garden and having our own fresh yeah, vegetables. It just doesn't right. get any better than that. I love that story about you and your dad. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's one of the, I, you know, it's such a vivid memory because we would, you know, even when we grew up and we were living in apartments and things like that, we would go and my dad in the summer was always, he was either, you know, tinkering around because he was semi-retired or, or he was out in his garden and he loved it. And it was so rewarding. And, and I, I remember I'd come to the house and there'd be a bowl and it always would be full of squash and tomatoes. And he'd always be, he'd be like, take them home. Take them. I got more tomatoes. Right. Tomatoes. I can't even eat all the tomatoes I have. And it was, it was a really great story. So if you've got kids or grandkids um, or family yep. members that are going to love it, um, you can grow and you can supply them. And trust me, if you do tomatoes in here, you're going to have more tomatoes than you can ever eat. Uh, you'll be giving them away it. to the neighbors. It's a wonderful way. If you live in an apartment or a condo or, uh, you know, or you just don't have room for a big old garden, this can be your garden right here. 733-081 is the item number. $69 on sale today. Uh, get wow. it on for flex. Pay only $23.32. Perfect way to be able to farm and do it organic right in your own house. Tom Wise, thank you, Amen. buddy. Always a pleasure. Thanks, guy. All right, my friend. We'll see you again soon. Brand new if you want to pick it up. All right, we are stepping away. When we come back, oh, my big pick of the show, it is our garden trimmer. You got weeds, grass? Take care of it. Here we go. When we come back. When it comes to shopping HSN, who knows better than you, our customers? That's why we're celebrating Customer Favorites Weekend April 9th through 11th with a big deal on the brands you love most. Your Weekend to Shine starts Friday. Ingredients that are rich in tradition. Born from the clouds and foothills of the Himalayan mountains. Clean beauty that protects, nourishes, and repairs hair and skin. Shop the Tweaked by Nature Beauty Collection on HSN and HSN.com. April is Customer Appreciation Month. 
And to show how much we appreciate you, HSN Cares is donating $1,000 every day in April to the charities you love. Watch every day in April to see our 1K a day winners. Plus, between now and April 30th, customers can donate to these charities and HSN will match the donation. For all you do, Customer Appreciation Month is for you. All through April on HSN and hsn.com. We just got these in. They are brand new, first airing of the season. I would say the reason I made it a pick, everybody out there that's watching me today could probably use a, a, a string trimmer, right? You got grass, you got weeds, you got things you're trying to control, dandelions, all that stuff. Well, we made this our pick of the show mainly because nobody has seen it before. I did it because I love the price point at only $67.95. You don't need to go buy a $150 trimmer to do your yard when you've got one from Earthwise. This is their 20 volt, 10 inch string trimmer. Uh, it'll make short work of any weeds or grasses. It's so easy to handle. You get full power in that uh, in that super uh, strong 20 volt motor, yet it only weighs four and a half pounds. You can raise it up vertically, so you can use it as an edger. You have the ability to do that. It has a little flower guard if you're doing around delicate plants and you don't want to hit everything. You're good to go. It has an auto feeder, so you can feed the string just by hitting a button on the end. It is such a great trimmer. Four and a half pounds, powerful. Completely battery operated. You're gonna get about 30 to 40 minutes on every charge and it has a quick charge, doesn't take long. And again, four and a half pounds. You can telescope it. There's a little twist in the middle where you can make it longer or shorter. It hits on every bell and whistle uh, from, uh, from a great company in Earthwise. Uh, you're gonna love it. They even give you a two year warranty. I'm gonna hand things over to my friend, Peter Kilcullen. He's gonna take you on a little tour. You know what, Pete? A great trimmer should not break the bank, and this one does not. No, it's so funny. I'm listening to you talk about everything that Earthwise has wrapped into this trimmer. And I say this about Earthwise all the time. This is everything that you need at home. Yeah. I mean, it's like you said, you don't need that $150, $200, $250, you know, trimmer, gas powered. This has everything you need. It can do multiple jobs and it's super easy. It's lightweight. So really it just changes the way you do your yard work. So you were turning it on, but every time I hear that, you hear that power yeah. and it does a great job. So again, I'm just doing a little bit here on the grass. I got some longer weeds here in the middle of the grass. Super easy back and forth. But what's great about this is you said four and a half pounds. That is amazing. Yeah. It just means that you can keep doing all those weeds. You talked about that flower guide, where it's normally going to be the uh, along the plant line that you're not going to want to get up close, and then you're going to start chopping up all those plants that you don't want to chop up. This is the way to do it. It's really easy. And, guys, check this out. When, I remember when I was a kid, I used to have my little lawn service, and I used to have an edger. It was a giant edger with a big wheel on it. I had an extension cord for yeah. it. But what we've done with Earthwise I can bring that guide up, and I don't know if you noticed in the middle here, you can release this and turn the whole thing 180 degrees, just like that, and then that snaps back into place. Of course, it's going to make it difficult on me right now. There we go. So that goes back in. So now I can use this as that edger, and, and I am amazed at what this can do with an edger. So watch when I drop this down into that slot right there on that edger, and it does a great job. Super easy to just walk along and do that. Get in there. And you know what, guys? This has already been edged, and this has made it look even yeah. better. Look how great that looks. And you would think that you're doing that with a gas-powered unit, but you're not. It's super easy to use. Again, it's you can also... There's two ways with the edger. The other way is if you just articulate this, there's a button on the top, turn that down. And if you want to do it even quicker, you can kind of do it this way and go right at it that way. So either way you do it, it makes it easy. It's light. That battery that you mentioned, 20 volts, full power the whole time. That's what we get from lithium ion. And then that charger, it looks just like a phone charger. You could do it on the countertop yeah. in the kitchen. <clears throat> 
one hour fast charging. I, that's a, that is brand new from Earthwise 2. Normally, it would take about four to five hours to be able to charge anything. It only charges back, it charges back up in one hour. But I think the real thing, Peter, for me is most people, when they go to the home store to buy an edger, they get sold on one that's way more than they need. All right, you don't need a 20 pound edger that you, uh, you, that you uh, especially one with a cord or one that you gotta put gas in because now you gotta blend gas with oil. You got a machine that's super loud. It's a combustion device, so it's gonna make pollution. You know, Earthwise, the company was named uh, basically on uh, that premise of, you know what, we care about the earth. We don't wanna put fumes in the air. You can create a very powerful trimmer, which is enough for 99% of the people out there who don't own their own landscape business. Hey, if you own your own landscape business, go buy a gas one, all right? If you're using it in your own yard, like I have, you know what I have, Peter? I have the Earthwise um, line trimmer from like three years ago. I still have right. mine and I love sure. it and it still works. The only thing I do from time to time, I order online, I get more string for it. That's all I need to do. Yeah. It is three years, it has never failed me. And mine also has the ability to go vertical so I can use, I use it as much as an edger. I think I use it more as an edger than I even do as a, as a regular weed, uh, weed uh, whacker. But this is something everybody, and I know our customer in gardening especially, you know, you're not, you're not running your own landscaping business. You just want something that works. You don't want to spend over $100. You want something that's easy to handle. You know, a good friend of mine, Jen, who works here with us at HSN, she asked me about this last week. She was like, how is that trimmer? And I'm like, Jen, this is the one you want. Don't go spend 200 bucks at a garden store. I mean, unless you're going to exactly. be making money off it, Pete, you don't need that much. You <laughs> need it, right? You need it to work. Not Exactly. You need it to do the jobs that you're going to do around the house. So you have a regular lawn. You definitely want to do the weeds. You want to do around maybe the, the raised gardens and around some of the other plants that you have. You want to be able to do that edging. This allows you to do it. Some of the safety features are some of the ways that you can customize it. I'll, I'll touch on that first. So you've got your helper handle right here, which is great. But you can customize that. You can lean it forward or back. You can slide it up and down here as well. And then the safety feature that we always have with Earthwise is that you have to touch that trigger and then hit the main trigger and then when you let go, it completely stops and you have to go back to that safety switch before hitting that again. So I love that part of it. And when you're going, it's lightweight. Anyone can use this. Come right in here. My camera guy's walking away. I want us to get a little closer. You know who that is, guys. My boy, Harry. That's our buddy, Harry. Yeah, Harry. he's out there. So look at me. So super easy. Oh, and I'll show you that underneath. Here's the other thing. Guy, you probably remember this because we've been around a while. Remember how complicated it was to yes. get that line to feed? Yeah. Do you remember? That it was really cool when it finally went to a bump. And you'd have to bang it on the ground yeah. to feed more line. <laughs> now we don't have to do anything. There's an automatic line feed, and the line stays at the proper distance with this little cutter on the side right here. That gives you that 10-inch in diameter. So when, they, when you talk about making everything so easy, no cord, no gas, no fumes, no yeah. having to start this and then not having to deal with the all of that built into something that's super lightweight, does more than one job because it does that edging as well. You will absolutely love it, and it really, really works so yeah. well. It, it, to me, it is amazing when you first use it. You're almost surprised. So you're like, oh my gosh. I did it is so easy, and Earthwise makes it easy. Uh, the battery charging system is easy to use. Uh, you just keep it plugged in, like in your garage or whatever, and whenever you need the battery, you pop it out and put it in. I rarely, I mean, I charge mine probably every two or three times that I use it, because um, I use it about 10, 15 minutes. I never have to use it more than that, because I use it in conjunction when I'm cutting the grass to be able to do the edging. But if you've got weeds or you've got areas of your home that need to be cleaned up, Peter, I know people that buy this and because they have such a small yard, they cut the grass with it, <laughs> you know? Oh, of course. Yeah, I've got an area in the backyard just on one side where there's not much grass. This is absolutely perfect. You, again, it's that 10 inch diameter, but look at, because it's four and a half pounds, I mean, covering this ground, it's nothing. There's no way to it. You can control it so easy. If you let go, it stops automatically. Yeah. You can't beat it. A guy, I'm telling you what, I am amazed at how great that edge looks. Nice I was doing that, I was getting into it. I mean, <laughs> it really is so easy to use. So maybe you've never used an edger, you can do this, super simple. Yeah. And if you want a string trimmer, nothing could be easier. Oh, I'll show you that battery. Here's something I like everyone to see. On the battery, you can see, again, it's so simple, the battery's even light. And then you can hit that button right there and it'll tell you. So I'm still four bars. That's 
that's hard to see out in the sun right here. I could barely see. I got it, it here, yeah, Pete. I got, can show everybody. Yeah, but it, it just lets you know how much time you have left. You were just talking about how often or how not often you have to charge it. But when you do charge it, it is so fast. You're ready to go. The whole thing is lightweight. I mean, when if you haven't used a battery-powered outdoor tool yet, you are going to be blown away because it has come so far. They are great. There really is no reason to get that gas-powered one unless, like you said, Guy, you're opening your own business. Yeah, I mean, uh, Peter, I, I wanted to take the battery. I just took it out to show you. There's a little button right here. And when I hit the right. button, so you can see the lights right there. So that gives me the indicator lights right there. And you can see I've got four lights left, which, and I've been using mine too. Uh, as it goes down, it'll go down to three, two, one. And that's the, the time when you need to recharge it at that particular point. There you go, see the four lights. And then all you do when you plug it in, is literally lock it in. If you miss that, take it, slides right in here. All right, and that's it. And then there's two buttons right here. There's a safety button on one side, and then so you push that button right there, and then you pull here. I can't use it unless I depress this button at the same time. See, so that's a safety thing. I won't be able to use it. So, um, and by the way, it's a really good first tool if you've got kids that are at an age where you know you want them to start helping around the yard. This has lots of safety features. Uh, the the string itself is protected in sort of a half shell there, so it won't be able to hit their feet. And then uh, you you know they have to be grown up enough to understand it's a two bet two button trigger so this could be the first job your kids or grandkids do for you and it's very addictive once you start weeding <laughs> you know peter it's like pressure washing right once you start doing it yeah. or with you and me in the pole saw i will go to the neighbors in fact i did that three months ago i went over to don and jan's and i took down a bunch of trees and limbs for them because they saw me using the the, the chainsaw i love using these tools from earthwise because they work yet they're not yeah, too exactly. much they're not too much to handle, Pete. Now, exactly. Once you see how easy it is, you don't mind going around and doing all that, that, that detail work, which is the edging, which is all that weed trimming. So when you have something this light, this easy to use, no cords, you, have, you don't have to deal with the gas or trying to start the thing. And then I love this protection that you get because that's a concern when you get into those flower beds. Can you get close enough to get rid of the weeds but don't do damage to those plants? So this is there. And then you just bring that up. I always do when using it as an edger, but then bring that down. It guides you to know exactly where you want to be when you're edging. But you will, in fact, go all around the yard guy like you're saying. It's too easy not to. Look at you go. <laughs> I love seeing Pete. I, I love seeing Pete do little jobs around the house. You know? That's good. Right on nice. Well, you know, here's the thing, Peter. Like I said, you know, I, I think a lot of people, when they, you know, they want, a, they want a tool like this, but they don't really know what to look for. You know, they go to a home store, and there's usually, and you know, when you go to a home store, there's probably 10 of these in a row. All right, sure. and they'll have some electric ones, and they might be decent quality. Um, you know, I don't know what you'll pay for them. I know that this is our most affordable at sixty-seven ninety-five. I would call this your first edger, right? It's and, and probably the only one you'll ever need. You know, unless you're going to start making money as a landscaper, you don't need more than this. You need to get rid of weeds, dandelions, crabgrass. You know, all the different dollar weed, the things like that that grow in between the cracks uh, on your uh, on your um, stepping stones and around your decorative stones. It's I deal for that. You can adjust the grip. Uh, so if you want to turn it sideways and use it as an edger, very, very easy to do that. But you know, Peter, for my money, this is the best, one of the most used tools. You will use this probably at least twice a week. Uh, on your shade works on shrubs as well so really really a great purchase and one i think that is affordable uh and peter pretty easy for anybody to use this absolutely very very easy to use four and a half pounds and you're right guy if you're mowing the lawn but you're not edging because maybe that's too difficult or you thought it was or you're not getting the weed trimming done around the fences or even around that mailbox post now you can really finish off your yard. It can look great. And you're talking about minutes more work. It's not a lot of hard work. It's just minutes and you'll be able to do it. Let me see if I can do some more edging right here because the edging is so impressive. Yeah, I think you're gonna like that. I've got one section here that I didn't do. And look how easy, I'm just walking along and I'm amazed it really does a great job. Oh wait, here we go, I didn't do this section right here. I was getting the camera in there so you can oh, see Oh yeah, it. there you go. That? I mean, it really, I mean, just a really nice 
detailed edge. Look at that. Now, that looks great, and it's super easy to yeah. do. If you've never edged, you just run it along that line. That's all it takes. Totally not intimidating. All right? So, right. yeah, both, both guys, gals, any age. Uh, if your kids, you know, make sure you trust them enough with a power tool. It's got a lot of safety things built in. You don't have to worry about it. Item number is 736981, right. only 6795. Very first airing of the season. Peter, I think everybody needs one, and thank you for showing us just why oh, yeah. we need it. We appreciate you, and uh, we appreciate Harry as well, taking all the pictures. <laughs> I'll let him know. All right, bro. Thanks, guy. Great all to right, see Pete. you. All right, take care. Uh, if you want to get it home, uh, take advantage of FlexPay. I'm going to check our mailbox because I see that the uh, I see that the thing is up. And I don't know. Lindsay scares me with it. Oh, look. Birds. I love it. That's the best. All right, I got to make sure I feed them. Can you pet a bird? I'll pet that. <laughs> There's a snail in the back, too. Yeah, I know, snail mail. Anyway, all right, fellas, you guys go back to sleep, relax. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Remember, I am back Friday at 9 a.m. for our traditional Guy in the Garden show. It's a two-hour show. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks to all our Facebook friends and all of you for watching. Stick around. Marlo is coming your way next. Well, hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great day.